Let's talk about your incredible music. Oh. First of all, did you have an early interest in music? Were you given an instrument? What happened? Uh, yes. So I was in a Keeley band at the age of four, uh, playing the tomuso, which then led to playing the fiddle. Um, so I was always into music. Singing was never the thing, though. The only reason I got into singing was because I was a drummer and I needed money to buy my drum kit. And I did singing competitions to earn money. And bada bing, bada boom, I don't know why I ended yeah, up the rest, music. Yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> yeah. So can you, still, can you still play an instrument? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You Not see, well, but I can. Because actually <laughs> the, the, that le- the level of Kaylee music is, is pretty damn high, isn't it? It's fast and it's precise. Absolutely. And it's all done by ear. Yeah. You know, you, you aren't right. You're not reading sheet music. You're, no. You just know the songs and yeah. you're playing them. And you've got to keep the pace. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's fun, though. I love traditional music and I'll never let that go. And it was an important thing for me to try and incorporate in the last record with Confessional. Yeah. There's a lot of Irish music in there, so... Yeah. Well, that's it. So can we look forward to another album? I'm working on it at the minute. Amazing. Yes, and hopefully a wee bit more of like a, still like popish, but with like a country undertone in there. So Love that. Who are the people that have influenced you over the years? Who are your heroines or heroes? Uh, it changes a lot mm. um, because a lot of my heroes have uh, <laughs> come out and uh, we find out that they've done a lot of despicable acts. Uh, so they lost their rankings. So um, we lost Michael Jackson. <laughs> Oh, and a few others. A lot. I, I lost Bill Cosby a few years ago. Oh, I'll spare cute. you the details. Yes. Yeah, so for me, it was the Chili Peppers. Oh yeah. Lost those as heroes, yeah, but I've sad. got better heroes now, like the likes of Chris Stapleton and things like that. Brilliant. You know, brilliant. Brilliant. To. And and um, what about that experience on, on X Factor? I mean, I'm I'm sure you'll tell me you wouldn't change the thing because it's mm. been a bumpy ride. But here you are to tell the story. Mm. Uh, what about that experience? Did you, if I told you on your first day, your first audition, that you would you would have gone that far? Would you have believed me? Absolutely not. No way. Finish like, fifth is incredible. To put, yeah, but to put it in perspective, like I was flying to judges' houses to Miami, and I was doing my psychology homework on the plane. I was Imagine. doing my schoolwork because I was like, oh, the, this bubble's going to burst. Like, and and tell me about the emotions when when you got that far. I mean, were you afraid? Were you excited? Were you happy? It's all very surreal because I was 16, so I didn't really have much of a concept of, of what was going on. But I, I, was, I was in a really bad place in the sense of I had a lot of depression and things like that going mm. on. And I was, I was in an awful relationship um, at the time as well. I, I didn't have a lot of self-belief. Um, but that's what the show gave me. It was this, you can do it. Like People like your voice. And, and that, I think that was the little kick I needed because I don't know otherwise if I would have had the confidence to go into music, I almost needed a, a platform of national television to be like, you know, you can actually sing. <laughs> it's a great place to find out, isn't it? Well, that's, front of Simon why I, that's why I went on. I was like, if anyone's going to tell me whether I can sing or not, I mean, Simon will let me know. He will. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't mince his words, exactly. does he? Uh, you're an amazing talent. You, ridiculously beautiful young woman. Oh, thank you. Congratulations <laughs> on your recovery. Uh, that's probably your greatest triumph. Uh, but clearly what lies ahead is a, a lot of musical success. I know you do so many live gigs and, and also you're a huge star online with online shows.